presented by Lawrence Technological University, where Blue Devils dare. The Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Michigan National Guard, a proud partner and official military branch of the MHSAA. Hungry Howie's Dough Raiser, your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Michigan Legacy Credit Union, building, preserving, sharing your legacy. And Snapcamp Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, serving Metro Detroit since 1926. Hey everyone, welcome back to State Champs. We are so glad you're with us as we turn over a new leaf and begin our season long coverage of Michigan's spring sports. Time to climb out of our hibernation holes and breathe in the outdoors. We are presented by Lawrence Tech. Jenna Skowski, take a deep breath with me, will ya? <sighs> Thank you, Lauren, I needed that. This week's show has a taste of pretty much everything going on right now in high school sports. Baseball, softball, girls soccer, even lacrosse. In fact, our first main event of the spring is a rematch of last season's Division I state championship in lacrosse. Detroit Catholic Central versus Brother Rice. That's right. The Total Sports Softball Player of the Year contest is back. We'll preview that with Donnie Dreher and we'll recap last weekend's girls basketball state finals. But for now, let's dust off our cleats, grab our sunflower seeds, and start with baseball. Opening game of the season, Woodhaven coming off its best in school history, going to last year's Division I state final. On the road here to take on one of the preeminent baseball programs in the state, the Eaglets of Orchard Lake St. Mary's. Woodhaven returns the Michigan commit, Colin Chukowski. He's also getting looks as a possible MLB draftee. Struck out the side in the first, Harrison pulls that falls victim. Warriors threatening top half of the second. Ducks on the pond for Nate Overton. The lost start, the bunt. Avery Carnicum scores. Warriors a 1-0 lead. Later, OLSM with runners at the ready. Bottom of the fourth. But Chakowski sends Cole Sibley packing. The Mr. Baseball hopeful finished with nine strikeouts and four innings of work. Woodhaven went up with the bases juiced. Nolan Chilcutt to left. Kyle Ray crosses the plate. Woodhaven with a statement win in the opener. They shut out Orchard Lake St. Mary's. 5-0 the final. How about we stay on the diamond dirt for a softball matchup at the Plymouth Canton Educational Park as next door neighbors Plymouth and Salem went at it Wednesday afternoon. Last time these two got together, Plymouth polished off the rocks in the district championship. The Wildcats advanced all the way to the D1 quarters. Bottom three, Plymouth at the plate. Up one, but the base is full. The freshman Jenna Ballard pokes it the opposite way. Two come across. Plymouth led 3-0. Next batter, Sophia Dibbles. The junior with a seeing eye grounder to left. Madison Cole hustles home. Wildcats up four after three innings of play. Salem got it going in the top half of the fourth. Ribby runner on second. Jordan Hazel sending this offering to left. Base hit. Haley DeChalk darts to the dish. But back comes Plymouth in the bottom half of the inning. Runners on the corner. Haley Gagnon up the gut. Alyssa Simmons scores. They added some insurance. The senior, Ari Bartholomew, rips it down the left field line. Alexis D. Alexander and Gagnon touch home plate. Plymouth takes care of Salem and beats their park rivals 7 to 1. I'm Gabe O'Neill. We go to Boys Lacrosse. Okomos from the Lansing area went on the road to the west side of the state to take on Grand Rapids Forest Hills Eastern. Looking to go 3-0 on the season, Eastern would get it going in the first period. This is the sophomore John Morgan making his way towards the net and then fires it in. The Hawks jumped out to a 2-0 lead. Chieftains would respond later in the first. Dominic Wirtz with the quick dish to Sam Carrier who bounces it home and the Chieftains were down a goal at 2-1. Jump to the second quarter and Forest Hills Eastern would start to expand on its lead. The sophomore attackman Sam Bowen would put it in the back of the net and the Hawks now led 6-1. More from Eastern just moments later. It's Morgan once again for the goal. He had a double hat trick in the first half and they led 7-1. They would maintain their momentum into the second as Ethan Johns would get it through traffic for the goal. Forest Hills Eastern goes on to win 13-3 the final score and the Hawks go to 3-0 on the season. We go back to the Detroit metro area for girls lacrosse. As Novi was at home taking on Farmington, we pick things up early in the first half. Annalise Schneeman receives the ball and gets an open look at the net. She had four goals on the night, Farmington out to a 3-1 lead. 
Novi looking to go 2-0 on the season, jumped to three minutes in the half. The Wildcats trailed 5-3. Katie Novell found Allie Smallerick near the goal to cut the lead to just one. We move now to the second half. Farmington was looking to get back a healthy three-goal lead when Schneeman finds Sarah Rinker for a nice overhead goal. Rinker chipped in two goals and three assists, 8-5 Farmington. The lead grew to 10-5 before the Wildcats started storming back, and Novell needed no help as she went straight for the goal and snuck it past for the score, putting Novi within one goal at 11-10. But Farmington would hang on to this one with under a minute to go. Sydney Hoffmeyer deep in Novi territory, and she would find the back of the net as Farmington improves to 2-0 in the season with a final score of 12-10 over Novi. Jenna back with you, and although the winter sports are now behind us, we had an amazing time creating all of our state championship shows. You can watch all of them online right now at our website, statechampsnetwork.com. This includes the recent Girls Basketball State Finals Highlight Edition. Whatever platform you prefer, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, IGTV, we upload our programming on all of them. When we come back, we'll give you the Cliff Notes version of what happened at the Girls Basketball Championships and more spring sports highlights next. I've always been really good at math and science, and I knew I wanted to work in healthcare, but not as a doctor. So I chose Lawrence Tech's biomedical engineering program. I've pushed myself to take internships, like this one, at a hospital in an orthopedic research lab. Thanks to Lawrence Tech's unique, hands-on style of education, I'm graduating with a published research paper and a job. Lawrence Tech, where Blue Devils dare. I love working for Strike. I am genuinely excited to come to work every day. We support each other and look out for each other. I love Stryker because we are like a family. At Stryker, I own my career. There are so many different places Stryker can take me in the next five years. Together with our customers, we are driven to make healthcare better. Great people with a strong mission and values can accomplish great things together. It's hard for young people to get financed and Michigan Legacy helped me get my first auto loan. For that I'm forever grateful and I love this credit union. At Michigan Legacy Credit Union, students are eligible to get a car loan without a co-signer. We are offering car loans to members who are 18 years or older and have not established credit yet. If you have a job, Michigan Legacy Credit Union can provide a car loan you can afford, allowing you to make your first big purchase. Go to michiganlegacycu.org to learn more. Start your financial future with Michigan Legacy Credit Union. Welcome back to State Champs. Let's take a quick look at what went down at the girls basketball finals at Calvin College last weekend. And we're going to start in Division 4. Adrian Lenaway Christian came in the defending state champs led by the Salenbein sisters, Bree and Danny. They beat St. Ignace 48 to 46 to claim its second straight state title. In Division 1, another team looking to repeat. Saginaw Heritage, coming off a tough semifinal win over Wayne Memorial, had to turn it around and play the next day against our number one Division 1 team, Southfield A&T. Behind great performances from their D1 recruits in Mo Joyner and Shine Strickland Gill, the Hawks beat Southfield 55-40 to repeat as state champs. Next to Division 3, the Pewamo Westphalia boys basketball team came off that thrilling last second win for its first state title two weeks ago. The girls did the same to win its first ever crown last weekend. They fought off a tough Flint Hamity team, held on 40 to 33. And finally in Division 2, it's been a stellar career for Rakia Jackson at Detroit Edison. The recent Miss Basketball winner and McDonald's All-American scored 30 points in her final high school game to help Edison win its third straight girls basketball state title. And shout outs to Gabby Elliott and Demia Hageman who also had outstanding seasons. Now for in-depth interviews, highlights and analysis from all four games at the state finals, you gotta check out our girls basketball state championship show. Look at it now at statechampsnetwork.com, also on our Facebook and YouTube channel. 
I'm Jenna Skalski, and we go inside at the Ultimate Soccer Arena for girls soccer. Marion, the two-time defending Division II state champs, was hosting the Troy Colts. Marion in blue, one of the preseason favorites to three-peat in Division II, would get on the board just six minutes into the contest. Maria Ascuna slides it over to a wide open Katie Sullivan, and the senior puts it into the back of the net. It was one nothing Mustang. Then with under 11 minutes to go in the half, the Mustangs would strike again. The Virginia commit Jansen Eichenlaub puts it home as Marion went into halftime leading to zip. The Colts would cut into the deficit with 18 minutes to go in the contest. Check out the junior Sophia Bongiovanni with the booming kick from 30 yards out and goes in. Troy now down a goal at two to one. But Marion would respond just a few minutes later off the free kick. The ball goes up in the air and junior midfielder Katie Hughes is there to put her head on it for the goal. As Marion improves to 2-0 on the season with a 3-1 win over Troy. I'm Sean Belegian and we head back to the diamond now as Sterling Heights Stevenson went on the road to take on the Fighting Irish from Pontiac Notre Dame Prep. Stevenson looking to get the season off to a good start first inning action. Mark Catula hits out to the gap in right center for the triple. Trevor Drum comes all the way around first to score. They added another one in the inning and led 2-0. Notre Dame prep flashing a little leather in the third inning. Austin Boggs with the line drive, but Isaiah Thummel is there for the diving catch. Fighting Irish looking to get on the board in the bottom of the third. Runners on first and second. Jack Crossman gets the base hit up the middle. Alexander Deck coming around but gets thrown out at the plate. The Titans throw it down to third and get Jacob Anderson for the inning ending 8-2-6 double play. Still 2-0 Stevenson. Notre Dame prep would come through in the fourth. Connor Gaskey with the bouncer up the middle. Wade Bonas would come in to score to get the Irish on the board at 2-1 but Stevenson would answer in the top half of the fifth. It would be Drum with the single to center, and that would score Austin Boggs, and that would increase the Titan lead to 4-1. to one. Same inning now for Stevenson. It would be Catula once again with the single up the middle. Drum comes in to score. Sterling Heights Stevenson would go on to beat Notre Dame Prep 5-2, to two, your final. We go back to the west side of the state for more baseball action as Holland Christian was at home to take on Grand Rapids Christian. Holland Christian returns their ace in the senior Chris Machma, committed to Michigan State. Here striking out the side in the second, but Grand Rapids Christian would come through in the third. With a ribby runner on third, Carson Warners gets the base hit that would drive in Andre Baez, and the Eagles take a 1-0 lead. It stay that way until the fifth. Holland Christian would even it up as Will King sends the shot to right center. Matthew Spaulding would easily cross the dish. They add another run and lead two to one. Machma still dealing. The senior would finish the afternoon throwing 11 strikeouts and it remains a 2-1 game. And the Maroons would add some insurance in the bottom half of the six. Spaulding lays down the bunt. Wilson Wireball would score and then Trent Lamb would come right behind him. Holland Christian goes on to win their first game of the season, five to one the final. in the studio now to give you a preview of this year's total softball player of the year race. Our man in the know, Donnie Dreyer, back with us again this season. How are you doing, my friend? I'm doing awesome, getting ready to get it started. I know, and here we go. Now, in years past, we left a lot of good conversation on the cutting room floor. Well, this year, we'll tease you with what we'll be discussing each week. So to see it, you're going to have to go to our website, statechampsnetwork.com, which is where you'll be able to vote for your favorite candidate as well. But of course, Facebook, Twitter, IGTV, YouTube, it will always be there too. Now, our first top 10 will be revealed next week, but you have a couple of preseason top players you want to talk about this week. Who are they? A couple of them. One's going to be Lauren Essman. And the other one's going to be Brick Nadalny from Lance Cruz. Okay, so now we're going to get into those two, tell you who might be some of the other favorites to crack the top 10. Go check it out on our website and our State Champs Network social media. Who are the candidates for this year's Detroit Athletic Club's Male and Female Athlete of the Year Awards? You'll find out next. 
I just graduated high school and Michigan Legacy got me a credit card to help establish my credit. I'm really grateful that Michigan Legacy would help me out with that. It has always been a challenge for students to start building personal credit and obtain financing. Open an account at Michigan Legacy Credit Union and you can get your first credit card. We are offering a credit card to members who are 18 years or older and have not established credit yet. If you have a job, Michigan Legacy Credit Union can provide a credit card. Go to michiganlegacycu.org to learn more. Start your financial future with Michigan Legacy Credit Union. The ones who wake up every morning ready to take on the world. The ones who push their limits to be better than the rest. You're looking to join a team of leaders who want to be challenged. You want to be pushed to your limits. You value freedom and think you have what it takes. The ones with speed, strength, intellect, and determination. Michigan Army National Guard. We see you. I'm on the Blue Devil football team, and that's a great place to be because other colleges wouldn't let me be both a football player and a nursing student. And just because I'm a dog on the field doesn't mean I can't take care of people. And man, do I love people. The small class size at LTU give me awesome access to my nursing professors. Lawrence Tech, where Blue Devils dare. Fundraising should be fresh, flavorful, and simple. We have the perfect solution at Hungry Howie's, Dough Razor. Your team or school can sell paper pizza certificates that can be redeemed for one medium pizza at participating locations. This fundraiser has been awesome for our squad. We've made a lot of money, very easy to do, it's very quick to do, and it's very effective. Go to DoughRaiser.com to learn more and sign up. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Welcome to Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. Time now to take a look inside Lawrence Technological University. Esports at LTU is growing rapidly, and students in the esports program recently held a gaming event on campus. Of course, there were tons of video games, board games, and so much more. Right now, this event is helping so that people are aware of what kind of fun and kind of exciting things that we do here at LTU. With these games, we're trying to make sure that people are engaged in LTU and hopefully they want to come here if they don't come here already. <laughs> LTU is hosting another eSports tournament in May where students in high school will compete for a chance to win thousands of dollars in scholarship to LTU and other great prizes. High school teams across Michigan, Indiana, and Ohio compete in an eight-week long season. Then, the top 16 will be invited to compete for the grand prize on LTU's campus. After two days of competition, the two top teams left in the tourney will go head-to-head, -head, but only one will be crowned eSports High School Champion. If you want to find out more about eSports, head over to ltu.edu right now. Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time of year again. The finalists for the prestigious Detroit Athletic Club Male and Female Athlete of the Year have been announced. Six male, six female nominees who do not only excel on the athletic field, but are also great students who have served their community well and lead by example. Let's meet them. Here are this year's DAC Female Athlete of the Year nominees. Julia Arold, Gross Point North. Three-time first-team All-Stater and two-time Dream Teamer, Miss Basketball finalist headed to Michigan State. Madeline Chin, Pontiac Notre Dame Prep, four-year varsity star, 2017 Volleyball State Champ, Miss Volleyball, finalist for National Player of the Year heading off to Purdue. Jansen Eichenlau, Marion High School, four-year varsity athlete in soccer, two consecutive D2 state titles, Dream Teamer, All-American who will take her talents to the University of Virginia. Danielle Harchi, Detroit Country Day, three-sport athlete, all-state in soccer, national champion in both tennis and ice hockey, will continue her hockey career at Yale. Ashley Turek, Farmington Hills Harrison, Dream Team Swimmer, D1 Swimmer of the Year, state records in three events, eight-time All-American committed to the University of Indiana. Rakia Jackson, Detroit Edison, multiple Dream Teamer, reigning Miss Basketball, ranked second best wing in the nation. Her team just won third straight state championship. McDonald's All-American, Naismith National Player of the Year nominee going to top-ranked Mississippi State. Now the nominees for DAC Male Athlete of the Year. Heath Baldwin, Kalamazoo Hackett Prep, three-sport athlete, 
dream team in football, three-time state champ on the track who will continue his career at Michigan. Austin Brown, Madison Heights Madison, three-sport athlete, first-team All-State in basketball and football on the gridiron, D7 Player of the Year, through the most TDs in the state, third most in the country, Mr. Football finalist going to Grand Valley to play football and baseball. Nick Foster, Ann Arbor Pioneer, numerous state titles in cross country and track, Mr. Cross Country and Two Mile Track National Champ, seven-time All-Stater, two-time Gatorade Runner of the Year in both cross country and track, will run at Michigan. Derek Moss, Holland West Ottawa, number one ranked swimmer in the state. Team won the state championship and he medaled in three events, four-time All-American who accepted a scholarship to Alabama. Lance Dixon, West Bloomfield High School, Mr. Football finalist, a two-time dream teamer, U.S. Army All-American who was already an early enrollee at linebacker U, Penn State. Kendall Taylor, Madison Heights Bishop Foley, four-sport athlete heading to Navy to serve and run the football for the midshipmen, recently earned a D3 individual state championship in wrestling. The winner of the Detroit Athletic Club's Male and Female Athlete of the Year will be announced on Monday, May 13th in downtown Detroit. Today I'd like to introduce you to the 2018-19 Student Advisory Council. They'll be reciting the MHSA Student Athlete Belief Statement. As the voice of Michigan student athletes, the Student Advisory Council's role is to convey the message of how high school sports are supposed to be played. We are responsible for helping the MHSA maintain a positive and healthy atmosphere in which interscholastic athletes can thrive. We believe athletes should be competitive, sportsmanlike, and excel academically. We believe students in the stands should have fun, but not take the focus away from the game. We believe coaches should act as teachers, helping student athletes develop, while still keeping high school sports in perspective. We believe that parents should always be positive role models and be supportive of their child's decisions. We believe officials commit their own time to high school sports and respect should always be shown and given to them. The most important goal for student athletes is to enjoy high school sports while keeping a high level of respect for all those involved in the games. For more information about the Student Advisory Council, visit our website at MHSA.com. This week's main event is coming up next. One of the biggest rivalries in boys lacrosse is renewed. Detroit Catholic Central versus Birmingham Brother Rice. You don't want to miss that. And now that the spring sports are in full swing, we want to know the big games that we need to cover here on State Champs. Baseball, soccer, softball, even rugby and water polo. Hit us up on our contact page at statechampsnetwork.com. We love telling great stories here on the show. Give us some ideas and who knows, you might just see the State Champs cameras at your event. The Great Clips Clip of the Week is coming up next as well. Stay with us. <laughs> Southfield truly is the ideal place to live, work, and play. Well, it's a very uh, exciting time in the city of Southfield. Great neighborhoods, great city services, and Fortune 500 companies. Southfield has something for everyone. Recognized as Michigan's premier business address, home to world-class educational institutions, voted one of the nation's most livable metro area suburbs. Southfield is the center of it all. Are you stuck in your job? Getting frustrated playing the waiting game for the next opportunity to advance your career? Let Blue Chip Talent help. As an award-winning talent acquisition company, our specialty is matching candidates with careers in IT and engineering. At Blue Chip Talent, we take a laser-focused approach to reaching your career goals. We have access to jobs you won't find anywhere else to help advance your career faster and easier. Plus, we take care of you. Employees receive industry-leading benefits and competitive perks. Don't waste another minute worrying because we are ridiculously good at advancing careers. We're getting reports that you have over 40,000 flavor combinations. That's right. May I examine one, ma'am? Is this real cheese? 100% real mozzarella, officer. Explain this dough. Made fresh daily. I'm gonna have to confiscate this as evidence. Aren't you a mall cop? All units, someone's in the fountain. 10-4, tiger on the prowl. Flavor fanatics will do anything for our one-of-a-kind flavored crust pizza with meal deals for every budget. Hungry? Howie! Welcome back to State Champs. For the first time since the MHSAA sanctioned boys lacrosse, that's a total of 14 years in Division I, we're not opening a year with Brother Rice as the defending state champs. 
Detroit Catholic Central has tried seven times in the finals to knock off the Warriors. In 2018, they did it. Now, these two also compete in the Catholic League and usually play at least once during the regular season. They did this week, and we were there, of course. It's the main event. Here we go, the greatest lacrosse rivalry in the mitten. Brother Rice and Detroit Catholic Central. These two could meet potentially three times this season, but right now, game time. Brother Rice in black, first period action. Committed to Michigan, the junior Patrick O'Hara skips it into the strings. Warriors out of the box on top. Brother Rice, fresh off an 18-8 win over Cleveland St. Ignatius. The offense in rhythm. The junior midi Jordan Hyde with the side snipe. Last spring was a banner year for Shamrock Lacrosse, dethroned the champs for both Catholic and State Hardware. Junior attackman Ryan Sullivan to the right of the cage, quick release, nylon, but CC trailed by three after the opening quarter. As night fell, the Warriors turned up the heat. Nice distribution, and once again it's Hannah Wada Hyde who heaves it home. Warriors unrelenting up eight to one. Catholic Central looking to regroup and gain any momentum before the break. Jake Petro powers this into the net. Shamrock's down 8-2. But Rice closed out the half by netting the next two. This is a blistering shot by the senior Justin Glad. Did you catch that? Let's slow it down for you. The ball sizzles through the strings. Refs gathered and confirmed that did happen. The Harvard commit Glad had a six-pack of goals on the night. Warriors up 10-2 at intermission. It's our half. We're better conditioned. We work harder, all right? Coach Ajay Chawla, proud of his boys tonight. The way it looks, his team is back on top of the mountain. Only time will tell if that's proven to be untrue. Hide from the bad angle. He scored five goals in the contest. Brother Rice exacts revenge, beating Detroit Catholic Central 16 to five. Time now for the Great Clips Clip of the Week, and we go back to girls' soccer. Check out the junior, Sophia Bongiovanni, with the beauty from 30 yards out for the goal against Marion. The Clip of the Week is presented by Great Clips. It's going to be great. Now rest assured, I did not cut Jenna's luxurious locks. As we leave you today, please know we're here all spring long, right through the state finals in June. Please connect with us on all of our State Champs social media platforms because we want to connect with you. Thanks for watching State Champs, Michigan's home for high school sports. <laughs> Dang. State Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University, where Blue Devils dare. The Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Michigan National Guard, a proud partner and official military branch of the MHSAA. Hungry Howie's Dough Raiser. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Michigan Legacy Credit Union. Building, preserving, sharing your legacy. And Snap Camp Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Serving Metro Detroit since 1926.